long queues at the transport division as a frustrated public questions the efficiency of the department. The slowest I've ever seen. Eh? Um, it's about an hour and a half since I'm here. And um, only one person that I've moved. The line have not moved and it's really frustrating. Back in January, the transport department closed its union office as staff underwent training to facilitate the migration of data to the new digital system called the Vehicle e-Services platform, where individuals can register vehicles online. But it appears attempts to streamline the services have hit a bump in the road, with teething problems with the new system, much to the chagrin of customers who are at their wit's end over the hiccups. There are people and persons who don't know how to use those apps, and there is no assistance for them. And this gentleman next to me, since Tuesday is coming up and down, because of the long line and the wait, he had to leave. He's there again today, frustrating. They took electricity. The um, power generator took about 20 minutes to come on or half an hour. And then the process is it's crazy. It's, it's really frustrating. I made many attempts to leave, but then come back tomorrow is the same process. The process is a bit tedious. I was on the line, but I decided to try doing it online. According to one patron, she came in to register her vehicle. In accordance with the Motor Vehicle and Road Traffic Act of St. Lucia, applicants are supposedly required to furnish the necessary information, which includes, among other things, proof of vehicle insurance, the prescribed fee, unless exempt, and an inspection report from a recognized garage that the vehicle is roadworthy. However, patrons allege that some additional mandatory questions have been applied online that have left them scratching their heads. All they asked, all, the, all it asked was, is the vehicle attached to a financial institution? You say yes or no. If yes, you just say which financial institution it is attached to. Was that an optional question or you had to fill that out? Um, there was a red asterisk, so I'm assuming it was mandatory. Customers are calling on the department to address the hitches in the system, which was originally intended to make life easier for the public it serves. Solar Shalfred, HTS News Force.